Welcome to Odooers. In this video, we're going to talk about the Odoo rental app. The rental market has been growing a lot in many sectors recently. Office space, lodging, transport, furniture, heavy equipment, or even clothing. For obvious economic and environmental reasons, more people are relying on renting products than ever before. This is something we also want to take advantage of at Stealthy Wood. A lot of customers already asked us if they could rent our furniture, but sadly would not have a good way to handle our rentals, and it was impossible for us to satisfy their demand at the time. We have a lot of products, and it can be difficult to stay organized. But now, thanks to the rental app, renting our products is a walk in the park. We can keep an eye on which products are reserved to avoid multiple bookings, make new products available in just a few clicks, and decide which extras we want to offer, such as rental extensions, insurance, and so on. We can also check reports by product or customer, as well as analyze revenue by quarter or month. So let's jump in the rental app and see how it's helped us expand our business. Who knows? Maybe we'll rent our super secret offices at some point. All right, here I am on my database about to go to the rental application because in fact, one of my most loyal customers has just called me and said that he needs to rent some conference tables as well as the chairs to go along with it. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So I'm going to click on rental. Okay, and before actually creating the rental order, let's go ahead and check out one of our product configurations. So I can go to products. I'm gonna see all of my products which can be rented, as you can see from the filter. So let's go ahead and select one. And the most important thing we have here is can be rented is checked. And when this is checked, I'm gonna have a new option, rental, this tab here, where I'll be able um, to set the prices for this product. Okay, of course I have different prices for different durations. Okay, so for example, one day is $75, one week is 375, and one month is 1100. Okay, and Odoo, when you add this product uh, to a rental order, it will automatically calculate the price based on the duration you've selected and also the cheapest price that you have uh, for that duration on this list. Okay, and if we go on over to our reservation section, we're also going to be able to add um, an additional cost for extra hours or extra days for this order or for this product. Okay, so for example, if um, my customer needs to extend um, the length of the rental, or if they're late, I can go ahead and charge them based on what I input here. All right, and then we we'll also have the possibility to add some security time. So let's go ahead and see this is kind of some uh, buffer time where the product will be reserved uh, before the actual pickup time. So let's say you need time to prepare or you want to be sure that the last customer who rented the item isn't late. Uh, you want to reserve this item two hours or however much time before the actual um, reserved time. Okay, so I have that security time here. All right, and then we can go ahead and save. Okay, now that once we've done that, since we've checked out the product, we're gonna go back to our rental dashboard where we have an overview of all of our rental orders. And we're gonna create a new one for that customer. So we're gonna click on create. Okay, we're gonna choose our customer. Okay, so let's go ahead and select Eduardo here. And then we're gonna add our products. So the first will be a conference table. Okay, I'm gonna have this pop up where I can um, select the duration. So let's go ahead and say he would like it uh, for a full week. And then we're going to apply. And you can see that the price has changed, okay, because we have changed the duration. All right, we have the quantity, so let's go ahead and say three. And I can also select the serial numbers uh, right here, right now, if I know um, which uh, specific items I'm going to give to the customer. I can also select those on pickup as well, which is what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and click on add. And we're also going to add the chairs that go along with it. Okay, now something else that's cool here is that you do have the option um, to use product variants uh, for your rental products as well. So keep that in mind if that suits your business's needs. Okay, now when I add that second product, when I add the chair here, the date is automatically going to be the same um, duration as we had in the product added before. Okay, so I don't have to add it in again, which is really convenient. Okay, I'm going to change the quantity here. So let's go ahead and say 50. And I'm going to add. Okay, 
So this looks good. So we have our conference tables, our chairs. We can go ahead and save this and confirm. Okay, and then we can um, send this by email if we would like our customer to go ahead and pay. All right, they are going to be able to sign and pay online as you can do with your uh, sales or quotations. All right, and then we have this pickup option. So we can click on pickup, and this is where we're going to be able to add those serial numbers again if we didn't do it before. All right, I won't add any serial numbers for my chairs since I have 50. That will take a long time. And then we're going to click on validate. Okay, and we see a status change here. So it went from reserved to picked up. So we have a clear view of what's going on right here from within the rental order. Okay, and of course, let's say the week has gone by, they're ready to return the items. We can return simply by clicking on the return button. Now, let's imagine that they um, are just returning uh, the chairs, but they're not ready to return the tables just, just yet. We can split the return, okay? They don't have to return everything at once. All right, so we can remove that and then click on validate. Okay, and I'm gonna see that they return the chairs. I'm gonna have that in the chatter. And it's also going to be on um, the return receipt. So I can print that, the pickup and return receipt, or again, I can send it by email. Okay, but let's go ahead and return everything. Okay, I'm gonna validate what's left. And again, we see from picked up to returned. And as always, everything is in the chatter. And then I can go ahead and print that pickup and return receipt. So maybe when they return that last item, I would like them to have a physical copy of the receipt. And it just generates a PDF. And I have all that information right here. Okay, so I see what they picked up, what they returned, if there were any serial numbers, and also the date. Okay, so you have all that information. And of course, this is ready to be invoiced if they haven't paid already. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.